शांति दिस इज द साकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन ओनली दी वन फादर टेल्स यू दी ट्रूथ देर फो ओनली लिसन टू दी फादर एंड नॉट टू ह्यूमन बींग्स दोज हू लिसन टू दी फादर अ लोन आर नॉलेजेबल क्वेश्चन वट आर दी मेन साइंस ऑफ दी सोल्स हु बिलोंग टू योर डेटी क्लान आंसर दे फाइंड दिस नॉलेज वेरी गुड एंड स्वीट दे रिनाउंस फॉलोइंग ह्यूमन डिक्टेट्स एंड बिगिन टू फॉलो गॉड्स डायरेक्शंस इट एंटर्स देयर इंटेलेक्ट्स दैट ओनली बाय फॉलोइंग श्रीमत विल दे बिकम एलिवेटेड दिस इज नाउ द मोस्ट ऑस्पीसियस कॉन्फ्लुएंस इज वी आर द वंस हु हैव टू बिकम द मोस्ट एलिवेटेड बीइंग्स ओम शांति स्वीटेस्ट स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन मे यू बी सोल कॉन्शियस renounce the consciousness of bodies and consider yourselves to be souls you also know that the supreme soul is only one brahma cannot be called the supreme soul you know the story of the 84 births of brahma this is his final birth i have to enter the one who has taken the complete 84 births I tell him that he does not know his 84 births and I alone can tell you about them. At first you were those deities, you now have to make effort to become that. Rebirth begins from the first birth. The father now says, whatever I tell you is right. Whatever else you have heard is wrong. I am called the truth, the one who speaks the truth. I come to establish the religion of truth. It is said where there is truth the soul dances. That is if you are truthful you can dance in happiness. The dance is of knowledge. Those people portray Sri Krishna playing a flute and dancing. He is the master of the land of truth. But who made him that? Who is the one who established the land of truth? that is the land of truth and this is the land of falsehood bharat was the land of truth when it was the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan at that time there were no other lands people don't know where heaven is when a person dies people say that he has become a resident of heaven The father explains that you are dangling upside down you have become dependent on maya the father has now come and is putting you away putting you the right way up you know that it is god who gives devotees the fruit of their devotion at this time all are involved in devotion all the scriptures etc belong to the path of devotion singing those songs etc are also part of the path of devotion there are no devotional songs on the path of knowledge you know that you have to go beyond sound you have to return home the father says sweet children you must never say oh god that too is from the path of devotion the path of devotion continues till the end of the iron age This is now the most auspicious confluence is when the father comes and makes you into elevated beings through knowledge. You have to follow the godly directions of only the one. Whatever God tells you is right. Baba enters a human body and tells you you were so sensible and have now become so senseless. You were in the golden age and have now come into the iron age. those who belong here will enjoy this knowledge very much those who belong here will find it sweet this baba himself also used to read the gita once he found baba he stopped doing all of that he had also adopted many gurus the father said all of those gurus are on the path of devotion i alone am the guru on the path of knowledge 
only when someone listens to knowledge from me is he called knowledgeable all the rest are devotees only shrimat is elevated all the rest are dictates of human beings whereas these are god's directions those are the dictates of ravan and these are the directions of god god speaks you are so greatly fortunate this is why your birth at this time is like a diamond people mount a diamond in the center of a ring in a rosary they have a tassel at the top and then the dual bead their names are adam and bibi you sh- you would say mama and baba adi dev and adi devi belong to the confluence is the confluence is is the highest of all when that kingdom is being established it is here that you children have to become 16 celestial degrees full the father comes to make the old world new no one apart from you children knows the duration of this world they say that it is hundreds of thousands of years all of those things are false it is said maya is false and bodies are false the new world is true this is a land of falsehood it is the duty of the father alone to make this land of falsehood into the land of truth the father says forget everything you have studied on the path of devotion this is your unlimited disinterest those people simply renounce their homes and families of this world and then go away into the forest this is also fixed in the drama there is no question as to why they do that this is a predestined play the father explains to you children that such things happen those of all the other religions cannot go to heaven those of the buddhist dynasty and the christian dynasty do not go to heaven they come later first of all there is the deity dynasty and then abraham buddha and christ come to establish their own religions baba comes at the most auspicious confluence age and establishes the deity dynasty a soul first enters a womb that a small baby then grows big say baba neither becomes big or small nor does he take birth through a womb the buddha soul entered someone else the buddhist religion didn't exist previously he would definitely enter a person who is already here and he would definitely enter a womb only one person established the buddhist religion and then many others continued to follow him down and expansion took place when there are hundreds of thousands of them their kingdom then begins there was the kingdom of the buddhist the father explains all of them come later they are not called gurus there is only the one guru those people establish their own religions and then continue to come down the father sent everyone up above and then they continue to come down from the land of liberation one by one you come down from liberation in life in the same way those people also come down from liberation why should they be praised this knowledge would have disappeared by that time the father gives you the knowledge of liberation and salvation he doesn't enter a womb he sits in this one he doesn't have another name all other beings take the names of their bodies that one is the supreme soul he is the ocean of knowledge the souls of the original eternal deity religion first receive this knowledge because they are the ones who are to receive the fruit of their devotion you are the ones who begin devotion i give you alone the fruit of it all the rest are by plots they don't even take 84 births the father says children become soul conscious it is explained that there too you would shed one body and take another there is no question of sorrow there 
there is no question of the vices there the vices exist in the kingdom of ravan that is the viceless world you explain to them but they still don't believe you according to the previous cycle those who believe you will claim a status and those who don't believe you will not claim a status in the golden age everyone is pure and lives in peace and happiness all their desires are fulfilled for 21 births there are no desires in the golden age there you receive plenty of everything food etc this bombay didn't exist at first deities don't reside on salty land the deities existed where there were sweet rivers there were very few human beings and each one of them had a lot of land they depict sudama giving a handful of rice and receiving a palace in return return people donate a perform people donate and perform charity in the name of god but is he a beggar god is the bestower they believe that god will give them a great deal in their next birth you give two handfuls and receive a great deal in the new world you spend money and open centers etc so that everyone can receive these teachings you spend your own wealth and so you are the ones who receive a kingdom the father says i myself give you my introduction no one has my introduction i do not enter the body of anyone else i only come once when the impure world has to be changed i am the purifier my part is at the confluence age and so i come at my accurate time you can't tell when sibaba enters this one they have given a date time minute for when sri krishna comes you cannot tell exactly by the minute etc when this one comes even this brahma didn't know that it was only when he spoke this knowledge that he knew about it there was that pull this one had rust on him when the supreme father the supreme soul entered this one you were pulled and you came running you were not concerned about anything else the father says i am completely pure you souls are covered with rust so how can that be removed in the drama all souls have received their own parts these are very deep matters each soul is so tiny no one can see one except in a divine vision the father comes and gives each of you a third eye of knowledge you know that the father only teaches you souls on the path of devotion they have as much knowledge as a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour for instance god speaks is right but then by saying that it is sri krishna who speaks it becomes wrong the word man manabhav is fine but they don't understand the meaning of that the words constantly remember me alone are right this is the approach brackets is of the gita only at this time does god enter this chariot they have then shown a horse chariot with sri krishna sitting in it there is such a difference between this chariot of god and a horse chariot they don't understand anything at all this is the home of the unlimited father the father gives all of you souls you children health wealth and happiness for 21 births this is also an eternal imperishable drama which is predestined you cannot tell when it began the cycle continues to turn no one knows about this confluence age the father tells you that this drama is only 5000 years for half a cycle there are the sun and moon dynasties and then for the other half that is for 2500 years there are all the other religions you know that it is the viceless world in the golden age you are now claiming the kingdom of the world with the power of yoga Christians themselves understand that someone is inspiring them and this is why they continue to make all of those things for destruction they say that they have made such bombs that they can destroy not just one world but 10 such worlds the father says i have come to establish heaven 
बट दे विल कैरी आउट डिस्ट्रिक्शन अच्छा टू दिस स्वीटेस्ट बिलव इट लॉन्ग लॉस्ट एंड नाव फॉर्म चिल्ड्रन लव रिमेम्बरेंस एंड गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम दी मदर फादर बाप दादा दि स्परिचुअल फादर से इज गुड मॉर्निंग टू दी स्परिचुअल चिल्ड्रन स्परिचुअल चिल्ड्रन से गुड मॉर्निंग टू दी स्परिचुअल फादर एंड नमस्ते एसेंस फॉर थार ना नंबर वन हैव अनलिमिटेड डिस इंटरेस्ट एंड फॉरगेट एवरी थिंग डेट यू हैव स्टडीड और हार्ड ऑन दी पाथ ऑफ डिवोसन अप टू नाव लिसन टू ओनली दी वन फादर मेक योर सेल्फ एलिवेटेड बाय फॉलोइंग हिज श्रीमत सेकेंड जस्ट एज दी फादर इज कम्प्लीटली प्योर एंड देर इज नो रस्ट ऑन हिम सो यू टू मस्ट बिकम प्योर ईच एक्टर इन दी ड्रामा हैज एन एक्यूरेट पार्ट कंटिन्यू टू मूव अलॉन्ग बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस डीप सीक्रेट ब्लेसिंग मे यू हैव डबल अटेनमेंट बाय हैविंग अ डबल रिलेशनशिप विथ दी फादर and the bestower of blessings and became a constantly powerful soul all the powers are your inheritance from the father and your big and your blessings are from the bestower of blessings with this double relationship with the father and the bestower of blessings all of you children receive this elevated attainment at your birth at your birth the father makes each of you his child and a master of all powers along with that at the moment of your birth he as the bestower of blessings makes you into a master almighty authority and gives you the blessing of may you have all powers by receiving this double right from the one you become constantly powerful slogan to become detached from your body become detached from your old nature and sanskars is to be bodiless Om Shanti Today is the anniversary of our dearly beloved Dadi Janki ji one who ruled over Bap Dada's heart one who donated virtues through her life and her activities one who always stayed in a bodiless stage who protected the yagya as a trustee and made others a trustees too On the 27th March 2020 Dadi ji became a resident of the settled region and below we have some of her invaluable teachings that are constantly echoing in our ears Number 1 In order to bless yourself recognize a subtle ego and quickly finish it Second Make your stays unshakable and immovable so that time and thoughts are not wasted. Third, in order to remove the sorrow and suffering of the world, become innocent and sweet and give sustenance like a mother. Number 4, by thinking, speaking and worrying too much, your energy is spent. So stay in silence and accumulate energy. Number 5 finish thinking about others and having a vision of dislike and think of the self and of god 6 in order to remain fortunate and blissful continue to take blessings from baba Number 7 do not keep anyone's mistake in your heart keep your heart clean and you will be able to be restful and comfortable Number 8 in order to be a tapasvi be a renunciate do not have any desires or any attraction number 9 in order to make your stay elevated continue to have the incognito practice of staying in remembrance do not have the habit of speaking of or listening to ordinary things number 10 with your satoguni drishti and attitude and with your satoguni interaction bring your perfection close Number eleven, be introverted, and all the eight powers as your friends will become your companions and be cooperative. Om Shanti.